All right, so where do deficits come from? I've already said a little bit about this. I wanna just drill down into it a little bit further. Where do they come from? Well, so genetics, some people are just born, they're gonna have certain deficits. They come from family of origin, but our family of origin, both through what we see there, what, what's witnessed by us, what's modeled to us, and by the way we experience it in terms of being interacted with, right? The way the people of our family of origin interacted with us, that can be a huge source of deficits. Let me give you an example, all right? Let's say someone comes from a family and this is no blame on this. This is just the, the family situation here. Let's say single mom had to work two jobs. So, you know, the child, um, didn't get a whole lot of nurturing beyond being fed and clothed and protected and all of that, but not lots of playtime, not lots of eye to eye, not lots of mirroring and oohs and ahs and all of that kind of stuff. Well, that lack of mirroring, because mom was doing Maslow's hierarchy of needs and trying to get food on the table, which was, you know, absolutely a life and death issue, but not having as much of the mirroring is going to cause a deficit, okay? Being mirrored as an infant and as a child is a huge part of our development and, and developing capacities for something called theory of mind, which is necessary for empathy. We're actually gonna talk about that here in a little bit.